Well, today we're going to show you uh, this stage of wheat crop. Uh, we raise wheat here in West Michigan. Uh, this wheat is all white wheat. It'll be used for uh, flour making later on. So right now, as you can see, wheat's pretty small. Now, this crop was all planted last fall into soybean stubble. In Michigan, we raise what's called winter wheat. So we actually plant wheat in the fall. It grows under the snow cover all winter, and then in the spring, it emerges like this. And uh, raise two types of wheat, soft white and uh, soft red. Red is used primarily for crackers and other wheat applications where a, with a dark finish, and white wheat is used for white bread because it's got a nice finish to it. Um, We'll come back through this crop uh, probably twice more and spray with herbicide and also uh, with a foliar uh, fungicide to improve yield and remove disease and head, like head scab from our wheat before we harvest it uh, in mid-July. The uh, machine you hear and see moving across the field right now is a, a 1286C Rogator with an airflow box on it. Uh, Mike there is putting down uh, urea and ammonium sulfate. We're going to put down... Uh, about 80 pounds of nitrogen. We put some potash and phosphorus and a little bit of nitrogen on last fall when we planted. And uh, he's out this morning with an airflow machine uh, fertilizing uh, the wheat with nitrogen so we can produce a crop. Uh, the machine he's using is equipped with global positioning, auto steer, and it's uh, an airflow unit. As you can see, it doesn't just throw the fertilizer out like a traditional spinner truck would. Uh, it actually has booms, and the fertilizer travels by air current out through those booms. Uh, and onto the ground. It's a much more accurate application. We put the fertilizer where we want it, and we're not uh, we're not getting it in the ditches and in the roadways and everywhere we don't want it. So we'll shoot a little video as it comes by here. There you have it. That's the first stage of uh, wheat in Michigan, and uh, we'll do some tillage work later this week. We'll start with that, and uh, we'll see you next time.